In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a new user in Windows 8.1. So you want a, a local user, actually. So we're going to click on Desktop, and we're going to go to the bottom right-hand corner, so the charm bar comes up. We're going to go up to Settings and click on Settings. Okay, now we're going to go to the Control Panel. And at the top right-hand corner of the Control Panel, if it's not already done, uh, click on the view by drop down here and choose small icons okay and in there we're gonna go to user accounts all right and because we want to create a new user we're gonna click on manage another account okay and we want to add a new user in PC settings Now, by default, if we go ahead and add an account, it's going to try and get us to create a Microsoft account. Okay, and that's not what we're doing here. We're creating a local account. Okay, so what we want to do is go down to the bottom here and click on Sign In Without a Microsoft Account, which is not recommended by Microsoft, but recommended by Techs Everywhere. We're going to go ahead and click on that. and it's going to give you a breakdown of what your different options are. Now, the Microsoft account, it will explain, you know, the benefits of having a Microsoft account and a local account. Uh, it'll tell you what's wrong with that. But uh, essentially, a lot of people don't want to be hooked in with Microsoft all the time and have Microsoft know when they're turning on their computer, etc., etc. So what we're going to do is down here, we're going to choose a local account. Okay, and now here is where we can type in our relevant information. And Windows 8.1 essentially requires a password hint. And if you don't want to give it, just put in the word none. Or of course, if you want to put a hint, put in a hint. Go ahead and click on next. And click on finish. Now, if we go up, back up to your account, we are, all right, let's go Alt F4 to get out of there, and then we're going to go back in to the desktop, okay, and we're going to close that, back to the bottom right-hand corner, up to Settings, Control panel, user accounts, manage another account. Okay, now we had to do that to get the new account in the list here. Okay, and the reason we want to do this is uh, we want to make this an administrator account, which is what most people want. You don't have to take this step, but we're going to click on that account and then click on change the account type and choose administrator okay click on change account type and now when you log in as that user you are an administrator um, of course as you can see Microsoft is trying to make you log in through their system and they're trying to enforce a uh, I guess what you would call the standard user as opposed to administrator accounts so when you're creating the, the account, you don't even get that option. Uh, you're going to have to go back in as we just did to make the user an administrator. So don't forget that step if you need the administrator access. All right. And then um, you can, if you want to go into your new account, go to your start button and go up to your the current account that you're logged into. You'll see in the top right hand corner. OK, so now you can click on that. And sign out okay and then you'll see when you click you get both your accounts click on the new one put in your password click your little arrow and your desktop is going to come up I hope that uh, this video helped you to create a new account and uh, if you did like it, please subscribe.
Thanks for watching.